having a party. Is that what you want to be having a party? Soul living next door. Beverly, hillbillies living above you. One of the chuck canister in this entire place and start again. Do you mind what this place used to be like when they built it at first? No. Craig Lang, developing for the future. Aye, aye. Craig Lang, modernity beckons. Craig Lang, tomorrow's already here. Craig Lang. Shite hole. <laughs> oh, here comes Francie and Josie. Shut up, dick. For the millionth time, it's Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like? Oh, that is a big question. What would we like, Victor? Oh, what would we like, Jack? We would like it to be warmer in here. Yes, and for the decor to be a wee bit more inviting. And to lose the stale smell of pish. And for you to be an 18-year-old bird with big tits. We would like to come in here and no want to kill ourselves. <laughs> to drink. To lager. Uh, would you mind getting this, Victor? Certainly, Jack. I'm trying to keep my small change to tip the concierge in the lavatory, who will no doubt offer me an array of expensive colognes from around the world. Now, to lunch. What delights do you have on offer from your varied and extensive menu? Pies. Oh, pies. Hear that, Jack? They have pies. Oh, that's dandy, because I was getting sick of that lobster thermidor, you know? When was the last time we had pies, Jack? Mm. Yesterday. Oh, well, pies it is then. Two pies as they come. Yes, as per usual. Frozen in the middle and red hot from the outside. <laughs> Irresistible. Mm. Tam, yeah. could you go a pie? Aye, a pie, aye. Aye. Well, come back the morning and get it out of there. <laughs> <laughs> you poaching bastard. <laughs> Oh, here they come, Abbott and Costello. You're putting the beef on, Jack. Ah, oh, that's right. Every time I shag your wife, she makes me a sandwich. <laughs> here, you two old duffers do nothing all day apart from watching the telly. What's the name of that horror film? Sixties, big fella, nearly got Frankenstein. Attack of the lazy bastard barman. <laughs> Asshole barman for the swamp. I married the dubber barman for the clansman. <laughs> Two pints. I don't know why I don't bar you two. That's because you fancy us, you big roofter. That's right. And when you're all finished looking at our asses, could you get us with two pints, please, Bobby? Oh, here we go. It's Ant and Dick. Oh, that's good, Bobby. Aye, aye. See, that would be hilarious if we had any bloody idea who you were on about. What is Ant and Dick, eh? A couple of arseholes, no doubt, cos that's your pattern, isn't it, eh? Here comes some arsehole double acts. What were we Monday, Jack? Fran and Anna, that's what it was. You can't just pluck a couple of celebrity names out of nowhere, Bobby, and expect that to pass as patter. Uh, it's like I was coming in here, right, and saying to you, come have two pints, please, Parkinson. You see, Bobby, we wouldn't do that. Cos neither me or my friend, unlike your good self, is a prick. <laughs> <laughs> now, all this chat, and I do believe I'm speaking for both of us, has made us very, very thirsty. Two pints, prick. <laughs> Oh, it's Lambert and Butler. Shut up, Bobby. You're the only fag in here. <laughs> Get that music turned in. Right. There's the barman, Jack. Well, I don't know. But I can see a big daft lassie up a ladder, but... <laughs> oh, aye. We can see right up your skirt, Bobby, head to your frilly panties. So when you're done fannying about with that bunting, Roberta, my love, could you come down <laughs> and get us a couple of pints? <laughs> Community centre. Open in the morning. Mm -hmm. Load of council big wigs are going to be there. Mm -hmm. Well, me having been with internal operations, I have been called in to protect them. <laughs> Look, I'm telling you. This. I we don't talk a lot of shite internal operations. Who do you think you are? 007. <laughs> License to get pissed. <laughs> <laughs> The name's Bastard. Alky Bastard! <laughs> Chicken Master! Seven of them in a kebab! Chris the Dunk. Oh, look who it is. Batman and Robin. Well, accept that as long as you go cat women, you pussy. Is <laughs> it ringing? Clansman. Hello, Bobby. It's, it's Jack here. Jack? Uh, just call in to say we've arrived safe. That's us landed safe. Oh, hallelujah. You're safe. 
I mean, when was it you left? Yesterday. And you've landed now, and you're safe. Oh, well, thank God. We were worried sick. <laughs> Everyone. It's Jack and Victor. They're safe. Oh, you your bastard. Put Winston on. Winston, it's Jack. They're safe. Give me that phone, you dick. Give Victor a big kiss for me, Jack. Godspeed, Jack. Godspeed. <laughs> Jack. Don't ask. Last night's the quietest night I've had in eight years. Is that right? How's that? Cause of use. Eh? Imagine for a minute you're a young couple. You're out taking in the night air. And she says, Do you know what, Tugsy Bugsy? I'm thirsty. And he says, So am I, Fluffy Button. Why don't we pop into this nice wee hostelry right here? So they skip up the stair, open the door, only to be confronted with. The living dead, and the former <laughs> use all decrepit bastards. So they turn about and piss off. I'll tell you the reason why you're quiet in here, Bobby. Oh, yes. What's that? You're a wanker. I'm no a wanker. Ah, you are. Eric? Well, you're a bit of a wanker, Bobby. <laughs> and I'll. <laughs> Jack! Oh, Winston. Oh! Jesus, Jack. Nobody move! Help us arrive! First, make sure the patient is comfortable by placing him in the recovery position. How do you feel now, Jack? Smashing! <laughs> Don't go and tell you again. Keep it down. What's the matter with you? You're annoying my customers. Ah, oh, shut up. We're your bloody customers at all. You're no customers. Customers buy drink. You have been sitting nursing them since she's come in here. Can you play cards, Seaman Bobby? Must remain focused. Oh, I'll focus you. Right out the door. No, nah, no, nah, Bobby, that's garbage patter. <laughs> focus you out the door. You can't just take a word, right, and slip it into a sentence and pass that half as excellent patter. You see, you've got to be clever with it. For instance, I don't know, something like, uh, I'll focus my boot on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'll focus on that, you old duffer. <laughs> I see that as cruder, but still as effective, eh? Well, away and take a flying focus to yourself. Doesn't what that is. Well, look who it is, if it isn't he. Jesus Christ, are they tits? Here's Bobby. Here's where they are. Tits. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not so sure I'm keen on your tits, Victor. They're a bit oh, droopy. Uh, Jack's definitely got the edge. I love the big green ones. Yeah. Two pints. Oh, here I go, Tom. Yeah, oh, here we go, burking hair. Shut your hole, Bobby. If we were burking hair, we wouldn't be robbing your grave. We'd be pissing in it. <laughs> Pints of lager, you prick, you. Aye, two pies and all. Aye, cold pie. <laughs> oh dear. If it isn't Long John Silver. If I was Long John Silver, you'd be first to walk the plank, you wank. Oh, <laughs> oh look who it is. Phyllis and Diller. That's going to be the worst yet, you toss pot. Because <laughs> Phyllis Diller's one person, no two. Normally, when we come in, Bobby, you go, look, it's Batman and Robin, or Laurel and Hardy, you know, double acts. What you said there's like saying, look, it's Frank and Sinatra. Aye, or Bob and Hope, but that's your part. Aye, knock yourself out, son, eh? <laughs> <laughs> look, Jack, it's Lawrence, Llewell and Bowen. <laughs> Do pinch a prick. Dirty bastard. Dirty, stinking bastard. Dirty, low-order, stinking bastard. Dirty, low-order, hoaching, stinking bastard. <laughs> bastard. Ah, he's a bastard. <laughs> I might well be a bastard, but in a week's time, I will be a golden-brown bastard. Oh, Jesus, that's him. Seduce, seduce, seduce. Ah! What would that be? A game of darts. 
Mr. Jarvis, the gauntlet is down once more. Yes, the gauntlet is down. And furthermore, beside it, I place one shiny golden nugget. There is mine to match it. Indeed a king's ransom. Barkeep fetcheth the arrows. A pass, pish. Shut it up, you prick, and give us the darts. <laughs> kind sir, approacheth the hockey. Here we go. Rod Hull, an emu. Oh, that's a cracker, eh? Except I think we've got more chance of sticking our hand up above than you have. <laughs> Two quite you prick. Ah, Jack Victor. Pants. <laughs> Ta-da! Well, who are you supposed to be? Well, I'm Victor. And I'm Jack. Look, I've even got a pint. <laughs> Two pints to tally as prickamus. Make a snappy ball, bagamus. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks for the effort, lads. You're a dick. You're a dick. You're under the thumb. And you're a prick. <laughs> Lager, please. You big lantern jawed, bug eyed, chunky faced, bone idle, dim witted bastard, you. <laughs> what? I've been away six weeks. <laughs> Years, anyhow. He'd only turn up and tap on money. Good luck to you. Two. Lager. Jesus. <laughs> Shut half now. <laughs> it's Tarzan. Put it away, Bobby. I did, body. Thanks, Winston. Anybody else? Aye, I'll have a pop. <clears throat> You're like an albino on hunger strike. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Michael Jackson's cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Ben and Taylor. Sorry, Bobby. No way, you. From magicians. Oh, are they? Aye. Aye, that's good, aye. Well, get us two pound beans before I make this boot disappear up your arse. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, look who it is. Huey, Dewey and Louie. Who? The Disney characters. All oh, right, aye. Well, get us three pints, you goofy bastard. <laughs> in a minute here. If Isa hadn't phoned me, I wouldn't have known what was going on. All oh, right, OK, okay well, uh, well, to Isa... Oh, hold on, you not got a drink? No. No, Bobby, uh, give Isa a blue nun, will you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look who it is. Bill and Ben. Two whiskies, you flubber-dub and nubbin. <laughs> right, well, I'll wait and play the puggy. Which is if Isa's kept her mouth shut. It does indeed. <laughs> I think we're in the clear. Dark 